Hello, my name is Kevin Brannigan and I'm delighted to be Reading Ambassador for Ireland Reads which is taking place this year in February. Today I'm going to read a book which I published last year called J.P. Bedecker and the Tale of the Magic Kitchen Dresser. Now, while I'm reading this book there's a lot of sound in it, a lot of noise, a lot of music, so I'd like you to maybe go and find some pots and pans, spoons, anything you can find to make a little bit of noise or if you play an instrument well get that to hand as well you could maybe play a tambourine or you could play a drum or anything that you can find so here we go uh. it is five to seven J.P. Bedecker is just waking up in the morning. Now, he slowly awakens and yawns and stretches. <sighs> J.P. lives in an old house in a big city. Today, he jumps out of bed and opens the window. Outside, the birds are chirping in the garden. Caw, caw, chip, 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 jack to bail, choo, choo, chee, chee, chip, 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 chip. His neighbour is clipping the hedge, tip, 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 and the buses and cars are hurrying past his front door. Vroom, beep, 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 vroom. JP likes every sound he hears. He loves the sound of the water as he takes a shower. He even enjoys the gurgle of the water going down the shower drain. He even likes to hear the sound of his toothbrush as he's brushing his teeth. In JP's kitchen, there is a blue dresser. It is an old dresser made of poor quality pine. There are four shelves for Delph, two drawers that don't slide in and out very smoothly. And at the bottom, there are two doors for a press. When JP was a baby, this blue dresser stood in his parents' kitchen. As he sits now, munching on his cornflakes, he recalls his childhood fascination for what he called his magic kitchen dresser. When JP was born, his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Bedecker, were so excited with their new arrival. They were excited and a little nervous as well. They often tiptoed around his Moses basket so as not to disturb him. They played a lot of calming music for JP, especially music by Mozart. But the more they played this music, the louder JP cried. Of course, they couldn't know what was upsetting poor JP, as he couldn't speak yet. But if they could have translated his was, this is what they might have heard. Please, Mammy, please, Daddy, play anything except Mozart and that other, other calming music that you put on. I like hustle and bustle and noise around me. Well, call it noise or sound. JP enjoyed everything he heard around him. He liked the airplane flying over his home. He liked the humming of the fridge in the corner of his kitchen. He even liked his neighbor's terrier, Sam, who started yapping at seven in the morning. It was all music to his ears. Every day, Mr. and Mrs. Bedecker placed JP in a little cot in the kitchen while they prepared dinner, cutting vegetables and boiling them in pots with water. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Bedecker kept their pots and pans and saucepans and glass bowls and lids in the blue dresser that so fascinated JP. Each time they took a pot or a lid out of the, the dresser, they tried very hard not to make any noise. They didn't want to upset JP. Sometimes either Mammy or Daddy would drop a lid or a pan or a spoon and make an awful massive crash. Ooh. Mr. and Mrs. Bedecker would look sheepishly at each other and then look nervously at JP and one of them would frown at the other and say, Shh, you'll wake the baby. But they never noticed that JP didn't wake up to these sounds or if he was already awake, the noise didn't bother him in the least. In fact, when this happened, during JP's nap time, he had the most wonderful dreams. Suddenly, a humming fridge became a snoozing polar bear. 
the kitchen dresser became JP's magic blue dresser. Its drawer knobs became its eyes. The wood that separated the two doors of the press became its long nose. And the two doors were its enormous jaws that went up and down and up and down as it chewed on its favourite diet of pots, pans and spoons. One night, after he had learned to crawl and had even taken a few steps, JP lay down in his cot and his parents kissed him goodnight. JP tucked in his chin, gave his parents his cutest smile, closed his eyes and put his two arms by his head, as he always did when sleeping. But JP was not asleep. When some time had passed, he climbed over the cot rails, tumbled to the floor and started to crawl. Where do you think JP was going? Was he going to his parents' room? No. Was he going to the bathroom? No. He was crawling to the kitchen. When he got to the kitchen, he headed straight to the magic blue dresser. He lifted his hand to the door on the left, but it was firmly shut. Then he tried with the right door. This door didn't close so well, so he got his little thumb under it and it opened wide. Fling! The dresser was filled with pots and pans, colanders, steel spoons, copper bottom pots and glass bowls. JP was thrilled. Quickly he started banging everything together. He banged a pot against a spoon. He tapped his fingers against the lid. Tic-tac-toe, tic-tac-toe, tic-tac-toe. Then he grabbed two big lids and lifted his arms. JP bashed the two lids together and crash! The vibrations in his arms lasted a long time. In fact, his ears were still ringing and his hands still shaking when his parents rushed into the kitchen looking extremely worried. Jonah, Pakula, Bedecker! Mr and Mrs Bedecker cried out in unison. That was JP's full name, but they only ever said it in full when they were a little bit upset with him. JP looked up with the biggest, broadest smile that they had ever seen. And then he crashed the two lids together again, this time even louder. Crash! Suddenly, Mammy and Daddy relaxed and started to laugh. And they sat down on the floor and joined JP, bashing and crashing and creating an almighty din. JP had the best fun ever. His parents soon realised that JP loved rhythm and sound and music of all kinds. A few years later, Mr. and Mrs. Bedecker sent JP to music school where he learned to play the drums. Boom, ba -da bam, bam, ba -doom, boom, ba -da bam. And the tabla. Dum, tick, tick, dum, dum, tick, tick, dum, dum, dum. And he learned to play the tambourine. <laughs> and the baron. Now, today is a very special day for JP. That is why he is dressed up in tuxedo and bow tie. JP now plays in an orchestra. He plays in the percussion section. What instruments will you find in a percussion section? You'll find lots of drums of all shapes and sizes. Anything you can bang or get a beat or a rhythm from. Jonah's favorite one is the timpani. This is a massive drum that you beat with a special timpani sticks. These give a deep boom that can be heard over the other instruments in the orchestra. Of course, JB loves the cymbals. The cymbals are a little bit like those lids that he crashed together when he was a little baby. Now, JP also writes music, and today the orchestra is performing one of his compositions for the very first time. He has written parts for strings, like the violin and cello. He has created music for woodwind, such as the flute. And he has created music for brass. Now, that would include the trombone. And of course, he has written for percussion. He has even included music for some kitchen pots and pans because the composition is inspired by the fun that he had had with his mum and his dad beside the magic kitchen dresser. Now,
Can you guess what the title of the composition is? Any guesses? Well, it's called Shh, you'll wake the baby. Now, will you get your pots and pans and instruments out there and join me with this little piece of music? Yeah.